Hello, welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics as if you have never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. I've literally never made one of these, not in the kitchen. But it's late at night and I was looking over your comments and I thought, let me answer some of these questions like live or like in real life instead of just typing an answer. You guys will have to let me know if I should do this or I shouldn't do this. So we'll try it. A little quick lesson. Stock or broth, stock, and bone broth. Now, I don't know why bone broth is called bone broth when broth is sort of like the first evolution before stock and then it turns back into broth somehow, but that's just the way it's labeled. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Broth is like aromatics, so your vegetables and your meat cooked up until you extract the liquid and that's broth, right? Then when you get to stock, it's really more like bones. Like, yes, you're, there might be a little bit of meat left on the bone, but when you have like a carcass left over from Thanksgiving and you make turkey stock or a chicken left over from a rotisserie chicken, you make chicken stock, you're going to put mostly bones, connective tissue, cartilage, maybe the skin of the chicken, and you're going to put your aromatic vegetables and your seasonings or spices, whatever you like in it. And you're going to cook it for a really long time and you're going to extract all the goodness. So you've taken that next step with stock where you've included the bones so that you're getting nutrients out of the bones and there's not too much meat. Like a lot of times you do a broth, you're going to use the meat. But with the stock, it's more about the bones than the meat. But I will often leave meat on the bones just to give it that little extra layer of richness. So it has the meat, it has the bones, it has the collagen and the skin and all the things which just give it like incredible flavor and incredible depth of flavor. Now we move on to bone broth. So bone broth is the same thing as broth and the same thing as stock. It's just that you're going to cook it way longer and for like long and slow because you want to extract so much more of the nutrients from those bones. Now flesh like the chicken itself or the beef itself for broth a couple of hours, even an hour, and you've extracted most of the nutrients you're going to get out of that meat. Then when you move on to stock, three or four hours, you're going to be extracting a ton out of those bones and cartilage and tissues and all those things. Bone broth, you're going to get way more collagen, way more out of the inside of those bones because you're going to cook it like 12 hours. So the reason that bone broth has more nutrients and, you know, is more protein usually is because you're getting all that fat and all that bone and all that connective tissue is really breaking down by being cooked for so 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 long so they're not different really the only difference is, is, like I said, if you don't have bones, like generally the broth, they don't use the bones. Stock, you're going to use the bones. And bone broth is basically just stock 2.0. It's just stock that's been cooked way longer. So it has more collagen, which is like so good for your skin and your hair and your nails and your gut health. And it's probably going to have more flavor too, right? Because when you cook something low and slow and long, you really extract all the flavor out of it. But with the meat, there's only so far you can go with that. And the meat just becomes like this flavorless thing. So, but bones have so much more to give, right? If you have questions, always leave them in the comments. And if you guys like this, like just me teaching while I'm not cooking so I can actually pay attention to what I'm saying, um, let me know because we can do some videos like this too, because then I can do them at night when everyone's asleep instead of in my kitchen. So you guys let me know. I hope you're having a great day. Yes, I am feeling better for everyone who asked you, and I really, 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 really appreciate you. I would say I'm like 80% um, better. So have a great night. Oh, one more thing that I forgot. Broth can be made of anything. Now, obviously, you can't make bone broth vegetable, right? Because there's no bones. But broth and stocks can be made with vegetables. They can be made with chicken. They can be made with beef. They can be made with pork or fish or shrimp or shells of, you know, crustaceans or fish, like I think I said fish already, but you know what I'm saying? Vegetables or meats, any proteins, you can basically make stocks and broths out of. And they are an incredible base for a lot of foods. And a ton of Asian foods actually use some type of seafood broth, shrimp or clam or mussel or fish stocks or broths and they add fantastic flavor so 
Yes, chicken, beef, and vegetable are your probably most common, but you, there's certainly other ones that you can make. And they're basically all the same process, right? It's just water, aromatics, which is like celery, onions, carrots, or whatever, seasonings like thyme or rosemary or whatever your palate likes, some salt, and you're there. 